Hey everybody, thanks for watching Baseball Tips with Coach Avery. Today I want to talk about situational baseball and what to do on a double cut or what I like to call tandem relay. I'm going to let this play run and this is going to show a ball hit over the outfielder's head that goes to the wall. Saladino to center field, Pollock a long run, can't get it, it's going to go to the wall. Yelich will score, Saladino. Rounding third, Eddie Cedar waving him around, throw to the plate, and safe at home is Saladino. So let's look at the four major points in this play that teach us how to tandem relay properly. Part one is knowing that the ball is going over the outfielder's head. Off the bat, we know this is a very good hit, and it's going to be a tough play for the center fielder to make. The left fielder here does a great job getting over to back up his center fielder. While this is happening, the relay men, the shortstop and second baseman, are setting up for a throw to home. This is called a tandem relay because there are two players. This ball bounces. I think the lead cutoff man did a good job knowing he could handle that, but that's why the second guy is there. And then we have what I would technically call the double cut man, which is the first baseman by the mound. Now, we don't always use this guy, and if we don't have to use him, we won't. That's usually on smaller fields where the infielder is a little bit closer to the dirt on the throw. Yet, this man is there, and he does a great job of cutting the ball and then relaying it down to home plate. It is slightly off to the other side of the base, which probably allows the guy to score just in the nick of time. But this is a play everyone should learn how to run properly.